Hi boys and girls and welcome to this week's flipped learning for maths. This week we're learning all about repeated addition and multiplication using arrays. Before we start, let's just revise the symbols we use when we are adding. The sign we use for addition is the plus sign. The sign we use for equals or the total is the equals sign. We use these signs when we are adding using repeated addition. Here are four bats. A bat has two wings. How many altogether? We can solve this problem by using repeated addition. The bat has one plus 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 one equals eight. Now that took a very long time and that's a very long number sentence. So we can make it even simpler using repeated addition. We know that each bat has two wings. Let's show our two wings on each bat. So we don't have to count the wings individually or one by one. We can count them in groups. We can write a repeated addition sentence that says two plus two plus two plus two equals, and we can find the answer by counting in twos, two, four, six, eight. Two plus two plus two plus two equals eight. That was much quicker, wasn't it? We can also double check our answer by using cubes or a numicon. We can get our group of two, another group of two, another group of two, and finally one last group of two. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes. Two, four, six, eight cubes. We've checked our answer using cubes. And when we use repeated addition, we're talking about groups of things. Here is a group of two plus a group of two plus a group of two plus a group of two. And of course, when we are adding, we are trying to find how many all together. Let's try another one together. There are five rings in the Olympic symbol. How many all together? If there are five rings, that means that we're dealing with groups of five. Five. Five rings here. Five rings here. Five rings here and five rings here. We've got one, two, three, four, five groups of five. Let's fill in our number sentence. Five plus five plus five plus five plus five equals how many, I wonder? Are you able to count in fives with me to find the answer? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Fantastic work. You are very good at counting in fives. Let's double check our answer. So we know that we have five groups of five. Let's find five on the number line. Let's add five, just like when we were adding three numbers together. One, two, three, four, five. We've landed on ten, but now we need to add five more. One, two, three, four, five. We've landed on fifteen, but we need to add five more. One, two, three, four, five. We've landed on twenty, and we still have five more to add. One, two, three, four, five. I landed on twenty-five. Did you? 
Well done. You are super at adding. Now it's your turn to have a go at home. Pause the video and see if you can figure out my question. When you're finished, replay the video and we'll figure it out together. Let's see how you got on. Camels have four legs. How many altogether? So we know that we're dealing with groups of four. Four legs on each camel. There's one, two, three groups of four. Let's write our number sentence. Four plus four plus four equals, do you know? Well done, it is 12. And you can also check your answer by using cubes, numicon, or a number line just in case. Here's another example for you to try. Pause the video and see if you can figure it out. When you're finished, press play again and we'll do it together. Good luck. Great, let's see how you got on. Each octopus has eight legs. How many all together? When we see all together, we know that we are adding to find the total. And each octopus has eight legs, which means we are working with groups of eight. Each octopus has eight legs. So we can write our addition number sentence, our repeated addition number sentence, as eight plus eight plus eight plus eight equals, did you figure it out? 32, well done, you are very clever. You might have noticed by now that when I'm adding my numbers, I'm always adding the same number lots of time. That's why it's called repeated addition, because we are repeating the same number while we are adding. Excellent work, I'm very impressed. Another name for repeated addition is multiplication. When we are multiplying, we are taking a group and adding it repeatedly. We are finding out how many times we are adding that group. The multiplication sign is like an X. It is a cross and we use this when we are multiplying. Some other words for multiplication are multiply, times, groups, repeated addition and lots of. Let's see if we can complete the repeated addition number sentences for these dice and then try a multiplication number sentence. Let's have a look. We have got two spots on this dice. This dice is a group of two. There's two spots on this dice too. And two spots here and two spots here. Each dice is the same as a group of two. We are adding two plus two plus two plus two to find the total all together. Let's fill in our repeated addition number sentence. Two plus two plus two plus two. Can you help me count in twos to find the answer? Two, four, six, eight. Our answer is eight. Two plus two plus two plus two equals eight. Repeated addition number sentences are very long, so we can use a multiplication number sentence instead, which is a little bit quicker. We have got a group of two. Let me change my colour for this. This is one group of two. This is another group of two. This is another group of two. And this is another group of two. We have one, two, three, 
four groups of two or four lots of two. We have got two four times. So we've got the number two. There are two in each of our groups. So we're going to put down two. Each group has two. How many groups do we have? We have one, two, three, four. We have four groups. Two groups times four or multiplied by four is equal to eight. Can you have a go at writing the repeated addition and multiplication number sentences for these? Pause the video and see if you can figure it out. If you're a little confused, rewind to watch the example again. When you're finished, press play and we'll figure it out together. Good luck. Let's see how you got on. One, two, three. This dice is a group of three. Let me put that in my addition sentence. I have three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three. Plus three. Let me fill that in. It's a very long addition number sentence. Each of my groups is a group of three. Do you know the answer? Well done, it is 21. You're very clever. Now, if we're filling in our multiplication number sentence, we need to know how many in each group. We've got three in each group, which I filled in here already. Three multiplied by how many times do we have a group of three? Or how many lots of three do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven groups of three. Three multiplied by seven. We have three seven times equals 21. Well done. How did you get on with the second one? There is four in each group. Let's write our repeated addition sentence. Four plus four plus four plus four plus four equals 20. Well done. How many are in each group? Four. That's right. And we are multiplying how many times? One, two, three, four, five. We have five groups of four. Four multiplied by five equals 20. Well done, you are super. We can also multiply using arrays. An array is when pictures or objects are put into columns and rows. Arrays help us to count objects. The columns are going down and rows always go across. We organize our objects neatly in columns and rows and from that we can figure out our multiplication sentence. We can count each column at a time. There are one, two, three footballs in each column. There are three footballs in each column. But there are one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So there are six lots of three footballs. We can write this by writing six multiplied by three equals 18. Let's try this one. How many frogs are there? First, we count how many frogs in the column. One, two, three, four, five frogs in a column. How many rows are there? One, two, three, four, five. There's five lots of five. So we can write that five multiplied by five equals 25. Now let's try creating our own array. We've got three lots of two. We've got three rows of two cubes, three rows and two columns. We can write that by writing three multiplied by two equals six. 
have a go at creating your own arrays at home, and I'll see you next time.